First, we demonstrate the principle of N-butyl-2 cyanoacrylate injection. It is crucial to inject the glue mixture strictly intravariceally to obturate varices. Here we show basic characteristics of the glue. You see that cyanoacrylate glue is well water soluble. In contrast, when the glue comes in contact with blood, immediate polymerization and hardening occurs. To prevent the cyanoacrylate from solidifying too quickly, dilution with lipiodol is necessary. The optimal mixture of cyanoacrylate and lipiodol is essential to achieve optimal results and avoid complications. We recommend the following proportion. Mix 0.8 ml of lipiodol with 0.5 ml of cyanoacrylate. During the injection procedure, continuously insufflate air in order to keep the gastric wall and any excess glue away from the tip of the endoscope. An injection needle of 0.8 mm diameter and 8 mm length is used. This is an acute gastric variceal bleeding from a fundal varix. Position the scope on the target varix and advance the injection catheter toward the varix to determine the best injection site. Now the injection needle punctures the varix. Inject 1 ml of cyanoacrylate mixture intravariceally followed by 0.8 ml of distilled water in order to deliver the glue from the catheter. The assistant announces the end of the injection and simultaneously withdraws the needle into the catheter. Now remove the injection catheter away from the varix and the assistant begins to flush the needle continuously with distilled water to keep the needle patent for the next injection. Here you see the glue spilling off the rupture side. Now retract the injection needle and catheter and flush the needle again with distilled water. The varix is successfully obturated. This is another case with gastric varices. Again, one milliliter of the cyanoacrylate lipiodol mixture is injected intravariceally. Now we use fluoroscopy for illustration of the obliteration process. Use the catheter tip to probe the varix. The varix is still soft. This signals incomplete obliteration. Therefore, injection is repeated. The arrow indicates a varix that is still patent. Now the varix is hard and complete obliteration achieved. Repeat intravariceal injections with 1 ml aliquots of the cyanoacrylate lipiodol mixture followed by assessment of variceal patency until the gastric varix is completely obturated and hardened. Arrows indicate the patent varices.